Morning everyone, Monday morning, welcome back to Bowen's Garage. Um, quiet weekend with the family, had a christening yesterday which was nice. Uh, didn't come on site, also nice. Trying to avoid doing weekends if I can uh, at the moment because I've just got a, I've got a four month old son and I want to spend time with him. So yeah, had the weekend off, although we did do a little bit of uh, dealing nonetheless. So if I spin what's happened. So, the Vauxhall Astra Automatic has sold. Had an inquiry come through um, really late on Friday night, I think it was about half eleven. Uh, the guy tried to complete the finance application uh, through the website. Um, found out he could get it slightly cheaper through his bank, so that's what he did. Left us the deposit on Saturday morning and then the balance came through on Saturday afternoon. Uh, he's also paid for delivery and the car's going down to car. Another one straight through the website. Um, no physical viewing. We don't mind the distance sales, absolutely fine. We trust what we're selling, so not a problem on that score. So that's uh, uh, a good one to get away. Really nice car though. Has to be said, super low mileage. <clears throat> That'll be a nice car for him. He's had an Astra previous, uh, he's had a Corsa, I think actually. Um, and has just had a kid himself, so he's uh, upscaling. Really nice one. And I also managed to... <coughs> Duke's going out later today, this afternoon, so we'll give that one a freshen up. Got wet over the weekend. DS5's being worked on tomorrow. And then that's getting delivered... Uh, or they're coming to collect Wednesday, I believe. Golf's going over to the body shop later today. Just have that rear bumper done. It'll be a really spot on car then after that. It's a lovely, lovely example. So that one will be ready to go. It's worth putting a couple hundred quid into it just to make it spot on. Uh, and then it's worth its money for sure. And I also managed to move on the Focus EcoBoost. This was the one that wasn't quite up to our retail standards. Um, stinks of smoke inside. The history was patchy. We're pretty obsessed with service history, obviously having a service and MOT workshop. You need to have service history with the cars you're selling, otherwise you can't rightly expect customers to get their cars serviced either. So, service history is a bit patchy, um, smells of smoke, has had some paint down the near side, just not quite up to our standards. To be honest, if the history was bang on, we'd have probably had a go at sorting the interior out. Um, uh, and, and, and that paint on the near side isn't too bad, you could probably flat it off and it would look absolutely fine. So anyway, we've moved that on to one of my uh, my good traders up in uh, sunny Yorkshire. He has a retail site, much like ours, um, slightly more stock than we do, but very similar sort of cars. Uh, but he also trades an awful lot to main dealers as well. So. Um, and he had the car cheap, I mean, there's there's sort of two and a half grand margin in it as it stands. So, um, you know, a main dealer can sort it out and they'll be able to charge more. So he might move it on to them, I guess, or um, go on with it himself. But uh, there's a good margin to be made either which way. Just needs a, a little bit of love and not, like I say, if I had more history, we'd have probably cracked on with it. But uh, there we go. So that's Monday morning for you. Other than the Astra inquiry, is still fairly quiet. Um, but I do need to do some buying. We're down to, I think uh, now the Astra's gone, we're down to 27, 28 with the Golf, the white Golf perhaps. Um, so I'm about five or six cars short of where I'd like to be and to have around us. So I need to get, uh, need to get cooking. So I'll go and have a look at Mannheim in a bit. Not all that much coming through my trade sources at the moment. So we shall see how the week goes, but I'll be sure to update you. Catch you all later. Afternoon folks, Monday, and a bit surprisingly, uh, I wasn't expecting this deal to come off, but it has. So we have just taken in this Ford Focus Titanium Navigator Diesel 1.5 TDCI uh, with a six speed manual gearbox. Uh, now a gentleman rang me last week uh, and was looking to move this one along. I think it was his son's who's moved away um, and he'd been left tasked to sell their car. Uh, now I explained to him that diesels we're trying to not do quite so many of. I think they're really good cars 
um, the performance is excellent when you compare them to the to the petrol versions. Anyway, they're not so popular retail-wise, so I said well, it would have to be the right sort of money because it would be a case of I may trade it on and try and make a bit of profit that way. I might try and retail it for a few weeks and see what happens. Um, so I wasn't expecting it to come off because it, it was a, a fairly tentative um, trade price, but it has come off and it's turned up and it's a really, really nice car, so that's a bonus. So we'll definitely have a crack at retailing it, I think, because um, I've just driven it. It drives spot on. Uh, it's two owners from new. It's in the metallic blue, which is by far the best colour that Ford have done, in my opinion. Some of you will say, well, it's the molten orange, or it's the... Uh, or the... Uh, I can't remember what the name for the white colour is, but... I really like it in this blue, it looks absolutely superb. This is the Titanium Navigator model, so loaded with spec. Obviously it's the 1.5 TDCI, which is their newer engine. Performance is superb. Um, I had that C-Max, didn't I, from Chops Garage, from James a few weeks ago that had the same engine, and it really does perform very well indeed. Super tidy, we haven't valeted it, it's literally just as it came in with us. So this will only need a very light valet. Uh, and a quick going over with a, with a mop, but we tend to do that with all the cars, really. Mileage, 35,300. Six-speed box. We've got the big Ford Sync. I'll start the car up, shall I? Uh, so it's push-button start as well. Um, Spec-wise, loaded. Electric windows, electric mirrors, auto lights. Bluetooth. What else we got? Cruise controls, speed limiter, six speed box, start stop, USB, 12 volt socket, um, dual zone climate. Now I've just, I have driven the car just to make sure uh, that it's all good. And the only thing that I can fault with it is the sat uh, the Climate control is not blowing cold, the aircon's not blowing cold, so but it's clicking in and out, so I'm sure that's just going to be a regas. Obviously, we'll check it for leaks and whatnot when we do that as well. Uh, so that needs doing. It's got the heated front screen, big Ford Sync touchscreen system, so you've got DAB, you've got your Bluetooth, you've got your big old navigation, got all your apps and whatnot as well. Park Pilot, I think if I put the car into reverse. So yeah, good. MOT is pretty short. It's got months MOT left on it. The last one was done at 29,000. And there was no advisories on that. It's done 35 now. Tires are all good, etc. Now the only thing that was a bit shorter is, uh, a bit short of, is history. So it's serviced in 2019. I've also got an invoice in the office for 2021. Um, so it's been serviced twice, which actually is not, not too bad on a two year schedule uh, with the mileage. So if it's on a bit of a long life job, we'll service it before it goes out. Um, but yeah, back seats, barely used, I think. It's in the best color, Deep Impact Blue. That is a good selling point. Um, I love the color, like I say, and it is one of those that really makes them stand out from the crowd so super tidy quick scoot round i won't go into the boot because you'll be in the brambles wheels are all good uh there's a little bit on the edge maybe on that one but i think that'll yeah that'll come out tires are good really straight and tidy i don't think there's any i think there's one very tiny i don't know have a quick scoot round it i think there's smallest little pdr ding on that arch, which Lee will do when he comes around and does a few for us. But other than that, really happy with it. Um, I think it's going to be 12 grand or 11,990. So good value family car that. And uh, I think with 60 odd miles to the gallon, it should fly out the door. So that's a good purchase for a Monday. Happy with that one. Catch you all later. Afternoon, Tuesday afternoon. And the Honda CRV has gone out this morning. This has arrived in part exchange. 
Now I know if you follow some other channels similar to mine, people seem to absolutely love these on the used car market. Hyundai iX35. This is a 12 plate, two litre diesel, all wheel drive. Premium model, so the spec's massive as well. Loads and loads of kit on it. Now we really don't know what to do with this one. Um, age wise, okay. Mileage, little bit up there for what we normally retail. It's done 77,000. That's by no means high, obviously, for a 12 year old car. Um, genera generally, probably not something we'd retail. However, the history is very, very good. Low ownership, and it's in excellent condition. So, I think we might have a tilt at it. I've just taken it out for a good five or ten miles. Drives really nicely. Gets up to temperature. No knocks and bangs. Um, there were a few advisories on the. Well, there is a few advisories on the current MOT, but they had a lot of that done on the service. The service bill for the last service is eight or nine hundred quid. So they went to town on it a bit. Um, so yeah, it's one of those, I'm in an hour and about what to do with it. Bodywork wise, like I say, very good. Uh, there's a mark down here on this front corner, which is just through the paint. That'll probably touch in to be quite honest. Wheels just want to clean, they're not curved. Tires are good. Obviously it's black, so it wants to polish, but all together, someone's got a mantle over there, apologize. All together, It's really tidy. Interior is good. You've got half leather. It's not bashed about. Door cards. It's not had sheep in it. Electric pan roof. Does open. Everything works. Air conditioning's ice cold. It's got heated seats. Just wants a good clean, as always. Now the only thing I did notice is there is a. A small tear on that driver's seat bolster. Now my uh, trim repairers will do that for a hundred pounds. So we'll take the uh, take the seat out, take the seat over to them. They'll put a panel in that hundred quid job done. So this is the thing: do we go on and spend the money on it and get it looking absolutely pucker? Six-speed box, dual-zone climate, cruise, Bluetooth. Good family cars. This is, like I say, this is the two-litre diesel. So pulls really nicely. All-wheel drive system seems to lock in. This side's really clean. Like I say, just wants the valet and the polish. The only other mark I noticed on it, apart from that front corner, is there is, as you can just see on the rear bumper there, there's just a bit of paint missing on that top. But again, I think that'll probably touch in. I don't think for the age of it, it will probably warrant painting. No dings. Two keys. So yeah, there we go. Seventy-seven thousand, right on the cusp. If it had done eighty-five, I'd have said no. But it's one of those. We bought it. At a, it wasn't cheap. Um, we offered an initial amount. We had to do a bit better to do the deal. But still under the top. Uh, you know, sort of cap average. If you're looking at figures. So there's a good margin in it. Retail, I think, is about seven thousand. Um, and I think it's worth that to be honest retail wise so I think what we'll probably do is put it in the workshop uh, and just see from the MOT which bits are left to do and then price it all up with the seat and everything and then, and then decide from there but no nice part exchange really nice couple of part exchange the car as well so they give us some good feedback said our communications were excellent which is always nice um, so yeah We'll see. And I know you've all spotted the Golf. I know you've all spotted this diesel Golf that part of, uh, came in Park Exchange yesterday, but I will be doing a separate video on that one. It's going to have its whole video all to itself because it's that amazing. Catch you all later. Good morning, Wednesday morning, and we have a sold vehicle. This uh, very, very low mileage Master 3 has sold uh, to a golfer friend of mine. Greg, thanks for the business. Top stuff. Uh, it's only done 9,000 this Mazda 3. They've got a little, uh, a little one due, so needed a bit more space for prams and all the stuff that goes with it. So, uh, giving them a bit of a deal, as we always try to do with our 
friends and people we know. So um, that's a nice one to get away. It'd be a lovely car. It's going to have a private plate on it as well, and I think that will really set it off in the in the silver colour. So that's a good start to a Wednesday. I've got two cars arriving today: um, a Nissan Qashqai diesel on a 17 plate, uh, the 1.5 turbo diesel, which is a, a really excellent engine. Um, that's an N-Connector model. Huge specification, pan roof and 360 degree cameras and all sorts of exciting things. That's arriving shortly and I've also got a very low mileage Vox Lastra arriving as well. Uh, 62 plate, 2012. Um, SRI in white. So that's a nice thing, 1.6 automatic SRI. It's quite a rare car and it's only done 23,000 miles as well. So that should be a nice one. Really good history on that as well. That's also arriving today. The Toyota Yaris that was parked here, if you can remember, the really high spec XL model, that's gone off to Buckinghamshire this morning. Martin's taken that with him and delivered that. Uh, so that's all good. Hopefully they'll be pleased when they receive it. And we do have a viewing on this Peugeot Partner later this afternoon, towards the end of the day. This is the very low mileage, 21,000 miles Partner TP. So a guy's coming over from Hay on Wye to look at that later this afternoon. Uh, and I'm bidding on a few at auction as well, so a busy day. Catch you all later. Afternoon, Wednesday afternoon. So a mixed day in the end. Um, the Peugeot Partner TP is sold, so that's good. A couple just came in, it's six o'clock, late again. Um, a couple have come over from Brecon and had a drive in this. They've got a big, uh, interesting part exchange, which we've done a deal on. Uh, not something that I'm particularly in my comfort zone, but it'll be an interesting vehicle when it comes in. It's a 2003 Isuzu Citation Trooper, long wheelbase, seven seater, three litre diesel. Uh, hell of a bit of kit. Heated seats, electric windows, electric heated mirrors, all sorts on it. Uh, it's only done 140,000. It's got BF Goodrich tyres all round. Looks a proper mean, mean bit of kit. Seven seater as well. Loads of history. Brand new MOT on it. Straight enough in the body. Um, so we've done a deal on that, but they were farmers, and as you know, with farmers, they always want a deal. So. Given them what I thought strong money for the Isuzu, but we'll see when it comes to moving it on whether I've completely misjudged it or whether it's uh, whether it's worth what I've given them. But anyway, full price on the TP, that's great. The only thing we've got to do to it is MOT it, oil and filter change, and I pointed a dent out to them because they hadn't noticed. But there's a ding at the bottom of the uh, there's a ding at the bottom of the tailgate. Um, so I spoke to my dent man, Lee, and he actually rang while they were here, and we spoke about it, and he thinks he can pull that out for them. If not, I've said that if it splits the paint, then we'll um, we'll paint the tailgate, which they were happy with. They're in no mad rush for the car, so as long as we can get it to them sort of by the start of June, everyone's happy. So that's good, full price on that one, sold. It was only in stock a couple of days, the phone's been really hot on it actually, so... Always the way with low mileage stuff like that. So that's a good one. Um, what else? Volkswagen up. Guy came in. Really lovely couple. Um, and they had a part exchange which I just really struggled to value. We love our low mileage stuff as you know. Uh, but it was a 2006 Renault Megane Cabriolet. Uh, diesel 1.9. It was a privileged model and it had leather, 6CD, parking sensors, cruise control, you name it, it had it for an old car. But the the strange bit about it was, or the bit that made me uh, prick my ears up uh, and my eyes, was the car's only done 11,500 miles on an 06. Uh, it's two family owners from new. They've known about the car since it was new, and it was it was sold new by the Renault Garage in Hereford. Uh, Eleven and a half thousand miles. I honestly had no idea. I'm pretty hot on valuations. I would say that's probably my strong, apart from being 
very handsome. Um, that's probably my strongest trait is I know how to value things without really having to look at book prices and all that sort of thing. But eleven and a half thousand miles on an 06, an 06 Cabriolet Renault Megane without any mileage is three hundred quid, you know. Um, but to have one with eleven and a half thousand, and the car was absolutely spotless. I never say a car's like brand new because unless it's new, it's not. But the car was absolutely spot on. I could barely see a mark on it. Wheels were absolutely immaculate. Um, it had four brand new Bridgestone tyres, full service history, cam belt was done last year, there wasn't a mark on the leather. Honestly a showroom car, really stand out. But obviously then you come to value in it. <coughs> um, and uh, I didn't have a clue. The car books at like 600 quid or something and obviously I didn't want to insult the guy by offering him anything, anything like that. So there was a lot of backwards and forwards um, and I offered him what I thought was very, very strong money um, and he still wasn't convinced. So, you know, there was no animosity, it was really friendly and we were laughing and joking about it. Um, the guy said he knew, I mean, he he said the car was worth more to him than than it's actually worth and he knew that. So he's tempted to just keep it <clears throat> and keep running it and um, but did want something smaller really. So. I laid my final and best offer out on the table, including the service and a cam belt change on the up, because uh, it's due at five years, and I've left it with them. So they said they're gonna let me know either way. Really nice couple, we got on well. They were here for about an hour and a half. We were just chatting away, uh, which can be done with me quite easily. So we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Um, the up will sell either way. It's a nice little car. Um, I've had a bit of interest in it anyway, but uh, their Megane was sort of that car that really I don't want it because what the hell am I supposed to do with it? I can't trade it because I'm giving them so much for it, so I'm going to have to retail it. Then, of course, you've got warranty issues on a 16-year-old Renault Electrics with an electric roof, which is also terrifying. Um, so, we'll see. He said you can pick a number and double it and triple it and... It is probably worth any number you like if you can get somebody to actually sit in it, but um, yeah, it's one of those. Be very interesting if that one comes off. I'll have to do some serious maths and some serious thinking <laughs> as to what what on earth to do with an 06 diesel Cabriolet again. Normally that'd be in the scrap pile. Um, and then, to finish off, it's been really busy today. I'm, feet haven't touched the ground today, which is good. I like being busy. Uh, this cash car arrived. This was the end connector, massive spec, lovely colour, magnetic red, 33,000 miles, two owners, full Nissan history, properly well looked after car, in fact the condition. Uh, I bought the car through my um, the trade site that I'm on, the trade app that I'm on last night. Uh, it was a, a Japanese import company who'd taken it in part exchange against the Nissan L Grand. The only retail imports. Bought it from them, did a deal last night at about 9 o'clock and they delivered the car to me by 12 o'clock today. So really good service from them. Ignition Imports, if you want to uh, have a look on their website, some properly nice kit. Skylines, Subaru Impreza, P1s, all sorts of lovely things. Um, Ignition Imports, yeah. Richard, really nice guy to deal with. Anna supplied me with a bang-on cash guy. We had it in the workshop this afternoon. Um, Richard did say that there was a bit of a brake judder on it. So it's having pads and discs all round, brake pads and discs all round. And it's having a couple of tyres because they, the sidewalls are perishing, unfortunately. Continental tyres for you. The more expensive the tyres, the more they perish. So it's had the front pads and discs done and we'll do the rear pads and discs and the tyres tomorrow. It came valeted as well, so it doesn't need much, definitely doesn't need a polish, so it's literally just a wash and advertise job. That one drives perfectly, everything works. It's got a glass pan roof, 360 camera, diamond cut wheels, cruise, Bluetooth, DAB, front and rear parking sensors, everything. Um, so that'll be a really, really nice car. Properly fa uh, Proper family SUV, that one. So hopefully we'll have that one advertised by the weekend, although I am only in work tomorrow, so we'll see how we go with that. And then this also arrived, also a nice one. This is the Astra SRI Automatic 1.6, 62 plate, but only 23,000 miles, eight stamps in the book, bang on service history, proper, proper service history. 
Uh, nice spec as well. This one's got front and rear parking sensors, cruise, Bluetooth, aircon. One of the last of the older shape ones. Really nice. Um, not too much to say on the bodywork. That wheel's got a little bit on it. Um, so we'll touch it in and for now, but then when Dave comes to do a little bit of uh, smart repair work, we'll probably get him to do that wheel if the car's still here. There's a very light scratch just here, but most of that will polish. There's just one tiny bit there that's through the paint. Nothing to write home about. Rear's all good. Inside just wants a valet. Tires are good. This will be a good price range automatic if you're after an auto. Uh, then this will be a really good option. Nice spec, nice colour, good mileage. There's a couple of little paintless dings on this dog leg. But Lee's coming next week to do the Peugeot Partner, obviously, so you can do that one as well. So that's a nice car, that'll be about eight and a half grand. That one will be getting up towards 14, but I think that's worth every penny to be honest. And then the iX35, so uh, the building company Bellamy's, who if you've watched previous videos, you know we've dealt with before, they've decided it's too big, but Greg, their logistics man, did come and have a look at it. So we're probably going to, um, probably going to get that one sorted and get it retailed, I think. Far too good to trade, it's a really nice example. And that one will be just short of seven grand, I think. I still haven't got around to doing a video of the golf, it's just been too busy, but I will. So there we go. Busier, better, faster and stronger. Catch you all later. Welcome back. Thursday lunchtime and the up is sold. Job done on this one. The uh, This was the one where the part exchange was a 16 year old Renault Megane diesel convertible which terrified the life out of me and had only done 11,000 miles and I didn't have a clue what I was going to do with it if it came in. Uh, anyway, uh, gentleman's given me a call at lunchtime. They're going to buy it anyway, but they're going to keep the Megane for the minute. Uh, they've also got a brand new Dacia on order and they uh, spoke to the Dacia garage this morning um, and that's been pushed back. So they do need two cars, so they're going to keep them again and use that for the time being, along with this one. And uh, and then they're going to sell them again privately as and when their Dacia arrives. I might still buy it off them at that point, who knows. Just because it in, intrigues me, and I like the interest in stuff. Um, this late plate stuff, you know, it's worth what it's worth. But stuff like that is so rare, so random. God only knows what it's worth. But anyway, this one's sold, that's the main thing. Full price, but I have said I'll include the cam belt replacement. Uh, it won't cost us a great deal to do it in-house. So um, we'll get that sorted for them early part of next week. So it's gonna have a service, cam belt, MOT, and then it'll be ready to go for them next Wednesday, I think they're gonna pick it up. The Citroen DS5, James's old Citroen DS5 has gone out this morning. Girl was chuffed to bits with it. Um, she's managed to give her higher car back and she's taken that one away and the Astra automatic as well that got delivered down to Cardiff this morning um, so it's been a busy morning I've also managed to buy two at Mannheim Bristol um, haven't bought from auction for a couple of weeks managed to get two there this morning weren't particularly cheap but hopefully nice cars I bought a 2018 on a 68 plate Mazda CX-3 which is like the small SUV type um, it's a Sport Navigation Plus model. It's got all the bells and whistles, leather, sat-nav, reversing camera, parking sensors all around, tinted windows, cruise, Bluetooth, DAB, full works, 68-plated uh, in the dark red metallic, similar to the Qashqai that came in yesterday, actually, colour-wise. Um, it's only done 17,000 miles, full service history. That will be a lovely car. Uh, I think it was grade 2, but I thought that was a bit harsh to be honest. I think there was a chip, one chip on the bonnet. Um, maybe a mark on a door pillar internally. Nothing really, so I think as long as it turns up it should be a bit better than grade 2, hopefully, all being well. And I also bought something a little bit different. A 2010 on a 60 plate Volkswagen Polo GTI. First GTI Polo we've had. 
Uh, so it's the 1.4 TSI with 180 brake horsepower, DSG gearbox, so the seven speed auto. Um, 60 plates are old for me. However, it's only had two owners, and that sort of car usually has many owners. Only two owners, eight, eight or nine services in the book, and it's only done 34,000 miles. Uh, that was a grade two again. A couple of marks on a couple of wheels, I think. Maybe a couple of PDR dents. Hardly anything from what I could see. Completely clean shore check. Uh, so that'll be an interesting one when it arrives. A little bit older, but 34,000 miles, nine stamps, two owners. If you're gonna buy one that's that age, then um, something like that will really be appealing. So it'll be interesting to see when that one comes in. They're both gonna turn up on Monday. Martin's gonna go and fetch them. So, because uh, it's only an hour down the road. So yeah, it's been a busy morning so far. Uh, I've gotta try and advertise the Astra Automatic and the iX35 this afternoon. We're not gonna get a chance to do the pictures and get those valeted, but I'm gonna try and get those advertised without the pictures, just to give people a flavor. And the Qashqai that arrived yesterday, we've done the brake pads and this all around, we've done a couple of tyres on that as well, so Lewis is just um, redoing the valet just to make sure it's spot on and then I'll get that pictured and videoed later this afternoon as well. So, really busy day, this is my last day of the week, um, got to take my little one to Birmingham Children's Hospital tomorrow for some tests, um, so day off tomorrow, but uh, we'll get as much done today as we can. Good afternoon all, Sunday afternoon. I'm not working, I've just swung by. Now you may not have seen this site before, I've spoke about it in previous videos, but I thought, as I live around the corner, and we've actually sold a car from here, then I would show you. So, and this is our Hereford site. As you can see, test drives by appointment only. Uh, so this is like our overflow site as it were, and obviously you've all seen the Ross site as well, all the videos come from, that's where our workshop is. This site, it's on a busy little cut through in Hereford. We've got the uh, train station, Hereford train station just there in the background, so it's really well located. Um, now we've had this site about 18 months, um, and it's very much an overflow site, obviously Ross if you're, if you're not too clued up on your geography, Ross is 16 miles away. But myself and Tony, who are obviously uh, Tony's my dad and business partners, um, we both actually live in Hereford. I only live about a minute away in the car. So uh, this little site has always been a car sales site, as long as I've been alive anyway, in one way or another. Um, over the last 10 or 15 years, it's done much sort of cheaper cars. Um, Anyway, 18 months ago it came up for lease. We knew that it was coming up, so we were straight on it. Um, it's not a very expensive site, fortunately. It's got water, uh, it's got electric. Um, so when we came in, we re-graveled it. We put this fresh gravel down. Obviously all new signage, which is almost identical to the signage that we've got in Ross. That one's exactly the same, just a bit bigger. Um, we can get, I think we've got 12 or 13 cars here at the minute, you can get 16, obviously if you drive, keep some down this row as well, parked end on end, you can get probably 18 or 20. Um, but this site is unmanned, so we don't man this site day to day. It's very much um, an overflow site, so obviously the site in Ross we've had for nearly, uh, nine years now, but we just ran out of room, wanted to keep expanding the business. This site came up, thought, why not? Got a little office. Um, which we redid, it was pretty old school, I'll show you inside, I, don't, I haven't unlocked those yet, but I'll just, as we're here, we might as well show you, so, I'm on my way for a barbecue, so I'm not going to hang around for long, very basic little office setup, we've got a clock, we've got a bin, we've got a printer, the boss's leather chair, a diary, a heater, and a bit of inspiration. Uh, but that's about the size of it, really. So just a little site, we just use this one as and when. Um, but it gives us the flexibility as well, of course, because we can have viewings both here and in Ross. So if somebody sees a car on the website and they're based in Hereford, we can bring a car over from Ross for them and vice versa, obviously, if, uh, if they see a car 
and it's an El Ross site, we can take it over there for them as well. So works out really well. We don't sell hundreds of cars from here, but it, like I say, because it all mangles into one, it works pretty well for us. We had this uh, little shelter built as well, so we can do viewings after work and, and in the rain as well. Obviously in Ross, if, if it's raining, we just take the cars inside, but we can't do that here. And this is the car I came to show you that we've sold. Now you probably haven't seen this one at all in any of the videos because uh, we've had it a little while. It's been over here for a little bit. Mazda MX-5. This is the facelift, newer shape, 165 plated. This is a two liter petrol, of course, SEL navigation. Uh, it's done 33,000 miles, I think. Good service history, nice wheels. You've got the black mirrors. It's in a pearl. It's not quite white, it's like a pearly colour, really nice. Anyway, chat from Hey On Why. Uh, bought this one on Friday, as you know I was off, but Tony dealt with this one. So that's sold. As soon as the sun came out, it went. Which is always good. We bought it at the right time, we bought it just at the uh, just in the poor weather in, in the winter, knowing that we'd probably keep it a little while, but it's got sensible margin in it because obviously it was ch cars are cheaper in the winter especially the convertible ones so that one's gone and turns out obviously that was a pretty good week in the end altogether just ticking along i've managed to buy uh, i've got three cars driving tomorrow now i've got those two from Mannheim, bristol that you know about uh the cx3 and the polar gti which i'm looking forward to seeing I also bought a Ford Eco Sport on Friday, which we've done really well with in the past. Uh, that's a titanium model with an X-Pack, uh, so that's a huge, huge level of specification. So that one's coming in tomorrow as well. I've also got a new shape Polo coming in on Tuesday or Wednesday, a 68 plate. Um, Polo Evolution, that's a one litre in white. Really good spec, big touchscreen, DAB, front and rear parking sensors. That's on a 68 plate, and I think that one's done 17, 18,000 miles. So that'd be a nice price range, new shape polo, in the best colour. And I've also got a, uh, what's the other one? Oh, an MG. Um, the big SUV type. So it's not an MG3, it's an MG ZS, and, which is their like SUV spec car sort of a mocker size i guess that's also a 68 plate and that's done 17,000, i believe so that's a nice price range bit of stock lovely level of specification but obviously it's an mg so it's it's not a a premium premium brand so that'll be sensibly priced so yeah all together a good week a good week of buying as well and uh we'll get cracking so there we go, this is our Hereford site. You won't see it all that often because I'm not normally based here. Tony does most of the appointments here uh, due to the fact that obviously we both live here but he's getting on a bit, bless him, and he tries to only do maybe three days a week. So um, he does most of the appointments here so he can go home early or, st or come to work after he's done an appointment. So you'll see him here most of the time. Uh, but just gives us that second option uh, and a presence in a different town, which is always good. So there we go. Enjoy the rest of your weekend and uh, we'll catch up again next week. Thanks a lot.